Hi everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today I want to talk about a critical aspect of our work at Help with Opioid Addiction New York. Medications that help combat opioid addiction. Specifically, I'm going to focus on one of the key medications we use, buprenorphine. Medications like methadone, buprenorphine, and naltrexone have been proven effective in reducing cravings and managing withdrawal symptoms, which are some of the biggest challenges in overcoming opioid addiction. When combined with therapy, these medications offer a path to long-term recovery. Buprenorphine has shown significant progress over the years in helping individuals fight opioid addiction. But what's important to understand is that buprenorphine can be administered in several different forms, each tailored to meet the specific needs and circumstances of individuals undergoing treatment. So let's take a closer look at these methods. First, there are sublingual tablets and films. This method involves placing the medication under the tongue, where it dissolves and is absorbed directly into the bloodstream through the mucous membranes. Common brands you might have heard of include Suboxone, which is a combination of buprenorphine and naloxone, and Subutex, which contains buprenorphine alone. The dosage is typically individualized, starting with a lower dose that is gradually adjusted based on the patient's response. It's usually taken once daily, though some patients might take it multiple times a day depending on their treatment plan. Another method is the buccal film. This is placed on the inside of the cheek, where it dissolves and is absorbed through the mucous membranes. A common brand for this method is Belbuca. Typically, the dosage starts at 75 micrograms once daily or every 12 hours, depending on the patient's needs and response, and it's usually administered once or twice a day. For those needing more long-term stability, there's the extended release injection. This form of buprenorphine is administered as a subcutaneous injection, usually in the abdominal area. The medication is slowly released into the bloodstream over a specified period. Sublocate is a well-known brand in this category. The initial doses typically start at 300 milligrams, followed by maintenance doses of 100 or 300 milligrams monthly, depending on how the patient responds to treatment. This method is administered once a month by a healthcare provider which helps ensure steady levels of medication in the body over time. There's also the buprenorphine implant, which involves inserting small rods under the skin of the upper arm. These rods release a controlled amount of buprenorphine over an extended period, making it a good option for those who need consistent medication levels. The common brand for this is Probofine. Each implant contains a total of 80 milligrams of buprenorphine, released over six months. Implants are typically left in place for six months and may be replaced if long-term treatment is necessary. And finally, there's the transdermal patch. This method involves applying a patch to the skin, which releases buprenorphine steadily over a specific period. Butrins is a common brand for this method, and the patches are available in varying strengths, like 5 micrograms per hour, 10 micrograms per hour, or 20 micrograms per hour, depending on the patient's needs. Patches are usually replaced once a week. Now let's talk about some important considerations when starting buprenorphine treatment. B. The induction phase is the initial administration of the medication under medical supervision, often in a controlled setting, to monitor for any adverse effects and to adjust the dosage as needed. Once the appropriate dose is determined, patients enter the maintenance phase where they continue regular use of buprenorphine to manage cravings and prevent relapse. If discontinuation of buprenorphine is considered at some point, it's typically done through a gradual tapering of the dose to minimize withdrawal symptoms. Patient monitoring and compliance are crucial for the success of buprenorphine treatment. Regular follow-ups with healthcare providers are essential to monitor the effectiveness of the treatment, adjust dosages as needed, and ensure that the patient adheres to the prescribed regimen. Compliance is key. Patients must take the medication as directed, and healthcare providers must conduct regular assessments or use tools like observed dosing to ensure adherence. In summary, buprenorphine offers various forms of administration, providing flexibility in treatment. 
This allows healthcare providers to tailor therapy to the individual needs and circumstances of each patient, which is one of the key strengths of buprenorphine in treating opioid addiction. Thank you for taking your time to watch and learn about buprenorphine and its various ways it is used to combat opioid addiction. If you or someone you know is struggling with opioid addiction, don't hesitate to reach out to us at Help with Opioid Addiction New York. We're here to help. Stay strong, and remember the road to recover begins with the first step, but it's one you don't have to take alone. Remember, you are not alone. If you or a loved one is suffering from opioid addiction, please text us at 1-888-995-3405 with the words, not alone, to receive a text message with treatment options and ideas and to schedule your appointment with us today or visit www.helpwithopioidaddictionnewyork.com. Remember, the road to recovery begins with the first step.